Um, the topic is actually very heavy. It's called social awareness and trend. And I'm trying to actually, you know, if I can say vomit, I would like to vomit out all my dreams about social awareness and trend. And hopefully it's off my shoulder and I can retire doing what I've been doing and it's on your shoulder now. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, social awareness and trends. So let us talk about what does it mean to me? Because it's easier for me to focus, and it's easier for you to absorb, and it's easier for you probably to follow, and actually just do it on your own grounds, your own terms, your own face. Now, social, to me, it's a powerful tool. When I talk about social, I talk about community, I talk about family, I talk about institution, I talk about beliefs, I talk about solidarity, I talk about underprivileged, I talk about wealth, I talk about power. That is how I see social. And most people, if I just write there, social, most people would actually take the negative one like being liberal, like trying to actually have fun only, like trying to have more, more or less the first time when I used the word social, they thought that I do not have boundaries between religion and culture. But then again, why bother picking up the negative when there are positive aspects of things? So social, to me, is power that is untapped, which is there and ready, and it just needs to be tackled by any one of us. Because with the social comes this force that makes you believe of something that you want to change. Every one of us, including me until today, up to date, I do 48 causes. I am trying to slow down since I took a job, um, a permanent job, and I'm trying to cater down to probably like 25, 28 social causes. And the social causes is something that I believe in and it somehow rather do not relate to me. But it relates, it relates to the people who has no voice. It relates to the people who is facing it and doesn't have a support system. It relates to the people that I believe if we do not tackle these problems, we do not tackle this issue, we do not even have conversations about it, it will be on me when I grow old. I'm 40 years old next year and I have to settle all this, hopefully by next year, so that when I grow old and I have to be put in an old folks home, I want to make sure that the floor is not full with dry excreta. That is my aim, and that sounds so easy, and that sounds easier when you keep talking about it and say, he should do this, they should do that, government should do this, and everything like that. But then again, when I'm old and put in a home, who is going to do it for me if I do not create the social power to make it change. It sounded easy, it sounded something that, in theory, I'm a pharmacist, I don't do sociology, and I don't care about um, what does it mean in social terms, what is social, I don't know what Webster's Dictionary defines social, but all I know is social means us, social means we. Social means family, and social is just you and me. No race base, no gender base, no sexual orientation, no culture, well, culture is important, no race base and no religion base. That doesn't make me liberal. That doesn't make me take in everything. But it makes me wonder how much I have to know to make sure that system work in a social environment that I want. So the first line that every, every time I start, stumbled upon actually, I, I, I keep on falling into issues that is just ridiculously sensitive, such as a dog or such as a pedophilia. And, um, but it's important, there must be a reason. But before you bark about that reason, woof, woof, you have to learn. And learning is a wonderful journey experience, which I guess makes me look young but not so, but learning makes me smile, and learning gives me knowledge, and learning gives me tactics, because I'm not rich, I just have knowledge to make me look young. So this is all a facade, okay? Then come this thing called awareness. Now you cannot work alone, but every one of you have this power to make things move. And I really believe that. Look, I'm really skinny. Uh, no, now I'm fat. I used to be skinny, but eight months ago, I'm just like 45 kilo, just like all of you. 
you know? And, um, and I put on weight because I get worried, but actually I put on weight for a special project that I'll be informing in 2017. And, um, but I believe that if I can make somebody think that they can change, then that's worth it for me. I'll give you an example, a simple one, since I got time for this one. Somebody on, from the audience actually asked me, Said, you're not an organization, so how do you fund yourself? Or how do you sustain yourself? And I actually answered him straight away, I don't need that kind of monetary funding doing what I do. And I have a reason for it. And I have to maintain it that way. And it's the hardest thing to do. is because if I believe that if I have 2,000 ringgit and I can make a great project, and let's say that I'm famous, which I'm not, and I can get 2,000 ringgit for a project, what about someone in Temerlo who has a great idea but don't have that 2,000 ringgit? Does that mean that he couldn't do it? Does that mean, oh, I'm not saying, me, oh, I don't have 2,000 ringgit, oh, I'm not from moi, oh, this and that, I cannot do it. And there goes the idea. So when I started all this about eight years ago, and it was hard. You have to sell your cause. I'm not selling, I'm selling this idea. I have this idea on how we can be neighborly. I have this idea on how we can prevent dog poop in front of the door. I have this idea on how we can actually appreciate grass. You name it, I give all these ideas that's ridiculously lame. We, I don't even get two shares about grass. Or there was one year, let's talk about hibiscus and the medicinal property of hibiscus. Nowadays, it's very sensitive because of pati pribumi. But then again, See, this is all about learning and explaining and knowledge. But to me, those are interesting. And I try. It was just one idea. And nobody wants to fund that. And it doesn't matter to me. So I said, today I'm going to do a talk on hibiscus. And a three person came. And that three person, I explained extensively. Like, it can cure fever. This is how you do it. I demo it. And I said, the taste nice. Mm -mm, nice. Yes. Cause fever. Because I believe it will go to the poor who cannot afford paracetamol. But the idea is there. The idea is the thing that thrives me to do more things. And then, when it becomes big a bit, then you start to create the awareness. And this awareness is very much important because I want somebody from Tamerlo, I want somebody from Tawau to actually do what I do without thinking that we need money to make change. What we need is actually unity, somebody with like-minded minds to actually believe we can change for the ones who cannot say it. For the ones who is so scared that if I report about this, I will, not, I will be ridiculed by the society. We create that society. We create that society who likes to judge. We create the society that was just because he's different or she's different, kill them off. That is so dangerous because that is the essence of power. Because they are different, I love them more. Because tell me why you're different. And then when I found some gems, and I always find beautiful gems, knowing people who are totally different than me, then you find the source of power, the reason why. I give you one example of my ideas that was just totally um, I wanted to plant vegetables in, I, I went to Follow Farm, inspired of course, and I wanted to plant vegetables on graveyard. And people thought, yeah, so organic. I said, okay, fine, you can, you can eat this okra and everything, fine. But that wasn't the reason. The reason behind that was because I wanted, if we plant vegetables, we have to tend for it more often. Okay? So I wanted people to go back to visit graveyards more often. Because when I die, at least I know people is visiting me. And it's important. And if they plant vegetables, like say okra, and the, the, the flower is beautiful, then they come more often and pray for me. I want that, of course, then the culture comes in, the religious come in, but my dad says, it's okay. When you die, I'll plant micro veggies. <laughs> and people can come and eat every seven days. <laughs> but again, you get what I mean? Not everything, and we create all this awareness. I create all this awareness. I thrive for people to actually be different. I thrive for people to be brave. I want people to talk about their dreams. I want them to talk about their aspirations. But I know it sounded just talk, and it doesn't change the country. Like, I never thought of changing the country at all. All I wanted to know is that our neighbors take care of each other. All I wanted to do was to actually have a potential and a possibility for a child to draw a tree and the leaves are purple. And the teachers say, yeah, it's true. In autumn, in certain countries, the leaves are purple. Because now they've colored it purple. No, wrong, B. 
So this kind of system cannot work. Why? Because we don't diversify ourselves. We don't thrive or create awareness that how beautiful we are because we don't believe in diversity. Then brings another thing. What about inclusion? Do we include people who are different than us? Do we include the deaf? Do we include the blind? Do we include the Down syndrome? Or do we include people with challenges with autism? This is the time, this is the most wonderful time in this country to share knowledge and to share ideas and to make changes. And you know what in this country that's so beautiful? They don't bother us that much because they don't know. Because nobody brought that idea because they are just so busy about the color of the poster must be four colors. You know, oh yes, we have to have that Dada Merbahaya poster which I thought like, oh my God. You know? So, because we don't tap the market, if I have the chance to use digital media, I would love to call all the college students and say, make a, make a poster in the most beautiful color that you like. Find me a fluorescent black and try to change it. Challenge them, not waiting to be spoon-fed by Geneve and, and the, the, a piece of leaf for everyone. Wait and call them up, get some more. This is what I want. This is my aspiration and my dreams, that we have to spread it out. Now, what happens to trends? Now, trend is the thing that, to me, is dangerous without support. You can have a belief, you can have an awareness, but you need the support. The support is the thing that will ensure the trend will go left or right, up or down. What does trend mean to me? Trend means to me that you have a cause, you write it down and um, pitch it out, and make the awareness, and then you wait for the effect. And that will, that will determine the trends. Now the problem is, we are not perfect, and we have to actually embrace that we are not perfect. Because if not, then, then you just cannot be human. And when you think that way, every time I, when I write something that was I'm sure there's 47.494% who hates it. You know, I like that number so that I can be very sure. I don't know where it comes from. And when I feel that, ah, oh, okay, this is not going to do well, look again. And sometimes it's just one word in the post. I want to touch a dog. Oh, that's the problem, okay. And it's just misunderstanding. Go back to the drawing board. Look at your intention. Why you're doing what you're doing. What is the end point of it? Is it benefit all? Are we sensitive enough? How is it going to run without us? Is the system in place? If the system is not in place, then do another thing. In 2018, <laughs> I don't know whether I'm still alive, I have this idea and dream that we are going to do time banking, where we don't need money, but we can actually have resources to actually go around helping people for the old folks. That's my dream, called time banking. You can Google it up. It's amazing thing starts from Japan. And, but when I want to start doing it last month in the office, I found out that we are not ready. Why? I like follow people who is actually great with skills. Most of us do not polish our skills that we actually have. When we were young, all our parents sent us to taekwondo, to ballet, to piano, to all these things. Where is it now? Now you just have one label, Said Azmi Pharmacist. Now I have Said Azmi Pharma on a cap. And um, basically, what about all the other labels? Baker. You know, you can make um, something out of wood, plumbing you're good at. You don't even advertise all these skills that are so wonderful can be you. But when we use all these skills that we learned from young, and where did we learn this? Normally from our family, normally from our peers. And we should actually try for it. All we wanted to do right now is about the piece of paper who determines how much we should earn. But we do not want to thrive about the skills that is much more meaningful that we could have. So imagine if I have my time banking, all we have to exchange is time in exchange to skills. So right now, every time there's an education fair, I quickly will be very annoyed when I say, where's the skill fair? Where is the skill fair? Why don't we talk about skills? The children after 17 and they have like six months before going to any A-levels, they could learn some new skills. But we don't thrive on skills because, oh no, he's going to be a doctor. So that doesn't mean that he doesn't need skills of sewing. We have to look into things like this, and then we can set a trend. A trend is something that I like to see after I wall up myself out on Facebook and see how the world 
judge me and teach again not to judge and teach again to see and refocus on the things that matters and then try to assimilate in society. And these trends, it depends on intention. So if you're thinking about fame, that's all you will get. It will not move forward. If you're thinking about, if you're thinking about money, yes, you can. And that's all you will get. What I'm thinking about and what I want everyone to think about is, is a great investment plan that you will only see later. And this investment plan, God is so great. This investment plan that I always plan is, when I really need that, it will come. For instance, um, I have this really, I probably it's not a very smart move to have this mantra with God all the time, saying that, okay, I do all the good stuff in this world for you. In return, I want health. Because I don't think I can afford healthcare. And I'm a pharmacist, I would know this. So in return, if I do good stuff, God, you just give me health. So in an essence of these two minutes, what I wanted to say is social awareness and trends is you are the power of change. Never doubt yourself. If you think that you have low self-esteem, then learn and read. First of all, read the, the meaning of what is low self-esteem. We, we like to label ourselves something different and negative, something dead and gory, and it's as if we are the only one in this world facing all this. Come on. Because we are not open up our minds to see possibilities. All problems in this world are our opportunity to make a change. If we want to find new ideas and opportunity, then look for the loopholes. And Malaysia has lots of it. In a positive way. It means that it's your chance to actually make that change. You see? So that's what I do. Of course, if we start talking about education system, oh my God, it's not TEDx anymore. It'll be something else. You see? But why complain about it? That's how we start. Why complain about it? Then do something about it. Yes, we have to follow the system. Never mind, just follow, but at the same time, get new skills. Because nobody's stopping us from that. And that makes us richer. And that makes us understand better. I never believe in tolerance as much when you talk about a difference between per people and beliefs. I don't believe in tolerance. I believe in understanding. I believe, okay, that's what you say, I try to understand, and this is what I'm saying, I try to understand. And lastly, before I take off the stage and actually getting, you know, like, or something, we can always agree to disagree. We can always smile. If that battle is not won today, take a step back, read, and come back forward stronger. Thank you.